What up, YouTube? It's your boy Savio back again with another reaction video, and today we're going to be reacting to an informational video about uh, the group BTS. I've gotten a bunch of requests recently to do like a series of these videos. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. We'll see how well this video does. I chose this one because it's the shortest of the three that I think you guys are trying to get me to react to. So if you like this and want me to react to the other two, then definitely make sure to thumbs up this video, share it so people see it. And if this video does well, we'll do more of these. If not, we will return back to our usual scheduled programming. In the meantime, guys, let's get into this and learn something about this group that you guys love so much. In the meantime, I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace. It's rewind time. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, they had to wear shirts with their names on them because the, even the camera crew didn't know who they were. That's... Yo, back back in the day. Also, I just noticed we have the exact same hairstyle. Yo. Yo. Hold on, hold on, hold on. These boys were in a dorm room, bruh. Seven to a That's... That's insane. But that happens, though. When people are chasing their dreams, like... In LA, bro, like you'll see five different artists stay together in a one bedroom apartment because it's so expensive and people are trying to trace their goals. You'll hear stories of big time artists who all stayed together in the same, same apartment. And you're like, how did all of these huge acts stay together? And it was like, that's how they could afford rent, you know? That's crazy. Those seven people in one room, that's a bunch of bunk beds. Like, crazy. They definitely showed them they're wrong. Um, I don't know which member that was, but I do know that you guys told me in the comment section that one of them, one of the rappers, I, I forget his name, one of the rappers produces a lot uh, for them, and I, I respect that so much. Like as as someone who wants to do both sides, they they call it being on both sides of the glass, where you're in the recording booth as well as in the actual, you know, studio behind the board, the soundboard, that I appreciate that. I always respect artists more who can do both. Kudos to them, especially in like the K-pop industry. That really is not common based on what I know about it. Like again, that part of the world, it, their music is very structured and it's not formulaic, but it is controlled. And so for them to, to do that, one, to be given the freedom to do that, but two, to be able to do that and be such a big success while doing this is amazing. That's a grueling practice. <sighs> What does mountain over mountain mean? Does that mean like as soon as you get to the top of the mountain, there's another mountain to climb or what? Yeah, I don't know what that means, but let's see what they accuse them of. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They just said, and you guys have already told me that they come from a really small record label how can you be accused of chart manipulation and you don't even come from the big record labels? Like that doesn't, that doesn't even make sense. If anything, things would be manipulated against you, not for you. Also, that's petty. <laughs> I mean, I'm not like 
too surprised because like people are crazy and as soon as you get any modicum of fame people lose their mind i mean i've already been i i i'm nobody right now and i've already been told to kill myself or i should erase my channel or i have no idea what i'm talking about even though you know i literally went to school for this so like i get it but it just it it blows my mind every time that people could be this upset over someone following their dreams like Singing doesn't even hurt nobody. You're doing nothing wrong in society and people get this upset and this been out of shape. It's just, I, I will never understand. They were really coming for these dudes, bro. Racking up them trophies, baby. Yeah. 20 to 1 made some really regrettable marks about BTS. When I first heard something Korean had exploded in America, I got worried. Yikes. I don't know. Yikes. I think they look very nice. <laughs> in his defense, though, that the guy who made that comment, I think his name's like Jimmy Carr. I know his last name's Carr. He's a British comedian, so being a comedian, I get that they step over the line sometimes, but like, that was bad. How did this become a thing in Western culture where all these grown men and little what, girls are- What did the last guy say? In America, I got worried. Yikes. I don't know. I oh. think they look very nice. Oh, <laughs> that is not what you were saying during the break! Oh, he put him How on did blast. How this become a thing in Western culture where all these grown men and little girls are f***ing off to little K-pop boys? <laughs> Listen, the guys were snubbed. They've broken all these records. They've had an epic year. They should be in all the major categories. I don't like the fact that they've separated them. Sorry to interrupt yeah. you, Denny, but that's what... what it's, just, it's crazy because they constantly outsell American counterparts. Yeah. They outperform them, but they're still not acknowledged in the way they should be. They're really trying to maintain their identity, and there is a barrier there when it comes to yeah, the, the Korean language. Like, obviously, there's going to be some North American audiences that aren't going to have that on um, rotation, and it's still an issue with radio. That's the big thing. Like, you guys told me that that like they really be messing with their radio play, which is why my whole life is music uh, or or be, being nerdy. I've only heard them or heard about them through through you guys, through people who are fans of them, who found them on the internet, but you're not gonna go, at least not here in the States, into a Walmart and hear them playing like you would other acts who are, in many cases, not as big as them based on numbers, which still is crazy to me because like, I always assumed that everybody was motivated by money and money comes with the numbers, so, if there's a fan base there, why would you not appeal to that fan base? Yeah, that doesn't make sense to me. I, I, I okay, I don't know. Our fans, I think they're like more enthusiastic than anyone. Can you describe that enthusiasm? They brought Correct. You guys are insane. You guys, the Beyonce fans, and Lady Gaga's fans, the Lil Monsters, and the Beehive, and the Army, just... Ooh, bruh, I'm, yeah. I hope some of y'all stick around and some of y'all ride for me this hard because like, yeah. About a boy band from Korea to Grammys. My next guest can only be described as an international music phenomenon. They have made Time Magazine's most influential Whoa. list. They're the first Korean act to reach number one on the Billboard charts. And Whoa. they just became the first group since the Beatles to earn three number one albums in less than a year. Whoa, 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 time out. Time out, time out. He said that so nonchalant, like that wasn't insane. Like the first, the first group since the Beatles to earn three number one albums in one year. First off, 
most people don't even release three albums in one year. Second off, the Beatles, like the Beatles, like the best selling musical group ever, the Beatles, like sold a billion copies, the Beatles, like insect, that's rarefied air right there. Oh, I just realized that's them. The seven-member boy band has broken the record for that's the best-selling album here in Korea. Now, this album, released this April, has sold 3.4 million copies as of May. It's BTS. In a the month? number one best-selling physical album in the United States in the first half of this year. Becoming the first Korean artist to win two trophies at the Billboard Music Awards in Las Vegas on Wednesday. The awards were top social artist and top duo group. BTS has been named the group of the year on Variety's Hitmakers list. BTS performed at the U.S.'s most watched New Year's concert, New Year's Rockin' Eve. Their upcoming U.S. tour is one of the hottest tickets on earth. Even I heard about more. that. I heard about that. That like their their shows were selling out in like thirty seconds again because you guys are insane. And so they had to like add more tour dates or something. It it was like trending all over social media, and I was like, wow. Like I didn't. Again, at that time, I really didn't know that they were like this big. Like this is. This is bananas already, like crazy. Considering most of their songs are not in English. They're headlining two sold out nights at Wembley Stadium, performing. Time out. Okay, again, I know some some people are gonna be pissed off in the comment section I'm stopping this much, but like, I need people to understand how bananas this is. Wembley Stadium, Wembley, holds 90,000 people. That's almost 100,000 people. You will not meet 100,000 people in your entire lifetime. That's insane. Two nights. That's 180,000 people in two nights. In 48 hours, in the time that me and you are going to eat like five or six meals, they're going to perform for 200,000 people. That's the population of some countries. That's insane. For 60,000 screaming fans. I like how he just casually says, oh, we've really grown. Like, dude, you guys were sleeping in bunk beds all in the same room. Now you're performing for 200,000 people in 48 hours. <laughs> Yeah, understatement of the century. Crazy. An economic analysis showed that BTS has lost concert in Seoul, created nearly as much economic gains as the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics in early 2018. It is estimated that roughly 100,000 foreigners came to Korea during that time. That number. What? The, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Their concert, one concert, made, made the capital of their country as much money as the Olympics? The, these seven boys made their country as much money as 700 of the greatest, the greatest athletes on earth. That's, that's insane. That is, insane is gonna have to be on the thumbnail or something, cause this, this is insane. Like this is unreal S tier, God tier level numbers that they're doing. 23,000 foreign fans who came solely to see the concerts and their companions. 24% of army were male, while a clear majority, 76%, were female. 24% were 10 to 19 year olds. 26. This I get though, because my BTS videos, the two that I've released on this channel, which like I'll link them up. So, you know, you you get the point. They'll be up there somewhere. Those have been watched by 99. 8% females. That's crazy. That is that is unheard of numbers. Like these these boys are pretty, but like damn. Percent were 20 year olds, 19% were 30 year olds, and hold on, this doesn't seem right. 27% were 40 to 49 years old. Yee. Hi, I'm Sam and I'm 50. Some of those people are going to be people's moms, 
But not all of those people are people's moms. There's some people's moms who the daughter is at home and the mom is there crying over Jimmy. Hi, I'm Cheryl. I'm just over 50. I'm 56. I'm 64. I'm 33. I'm 36 years old. Almost 48 years old. I'm 44 years old. I have two children. BTS, like, telling everyone to love themselves, to, like... Okay, hold on. Now I need all you guys to comment down below how old you are. Because now I'm super curious. Like, that was crazy. One of those ladies said she was 56. Like, 56? That's like two of the members put together and then like a half of another member. That's crazy. That's a very wide-reaching market. And the vast majority of artists don't have people twice their age as fans of them. You know, being who you are, and right, right. And you know, having a, a, a group of like musicians and like really talented people talking about like better yourself, love yourself, and you know, become something good in life. It, it's actually good. I love the band for their message. Yeah. They're giving people who are misunderstood the belief that what they're doing is right. And I think that's very important. You should love yourself. For a group that is such larger than life, mm -hmm. that it can be so easy to like dehumanize them. Yeah. They really do a good job of keeping themselves like really like just natural and humble. I've never seen a, a whole concert. It's astonishing. I don't know how they do it. Yeah. They are amazing performers. And we load up and we had a blast. We did not, we got out of our seats. We got right down the pit and broke a sweat dance. As a group, BTS has previously teamed up. Okay, hold on. If you got that man, if you got Big Matty Matt, bro, you you're winning. You're winning. Like that's, yo, that is the coolest man on earth, bro. So like, if, yo, like that's that's dope. That is that's really dope. I I would cry if I was singing and I saw him down moshing to my songs, bro. That would be insane. Whole concert over. All y'all can go home. It's over, bro. Matthew McConaughey is here, bro. Like, bye. Bye. Good riddance. Up with UNICEF and spoken in front of the UN about the importance of self-love for global youth. The hell? We have learned to love ourselves. So now I urge you to speak yourself. Again, I know I'm pausing a lot. There's a lot to react to in this video. They spoke in front of the UN? Like, what? Why? What happened? How did I miss this? Like, wh what? That's super dope. I'm finding how to love myself. You know, I, I didn't know anything about love myself, but you guys, you guys taught me through your eyes, through your love, through your tweets, through your letters, through everything. You guys taught me and inspired me how to love myself. And loving myself is my whole life goal until my death. And you know, what is loving myself? What is loving yourself? I don't know. Who can define their own method and the way of loving myself? It's our mission to define our way to love ourselves. It's never intended, but it feels like I'm using you guys to love myself. So I want to say one thing. Please, please use me. Please use BTS to love yourself. Yo, that's low-key beautiful, dog. Like, that's... That's real. Like, people don't get that just because a lot of people know you or love you or care about you or whatever, that doesn't mean that on the inside you feel great. And a lot of artists are going through a lot of dark stuff and still pouring out of themselves and still giving of themselves to to create this art and to share that art with the world and inspire people and bless people. And the fact that he learned to love himself as a result of you guys is, is really dope to me. Like that's, wow, that's, that's amazing. That, yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna take that with me at the end of this video. That was, Wow. You guys taught me how to love myself. Every day. Thank you so much.
so much. We love you guys. Turn it up. Looking fresh up there too. Good job to whoever made this video. God, that was amazing. So this video's been super long already and I have no idea how many of you are going to actually watch this far. So I'll keep this short. That was crazy from passing out flyers to free concerts, sleeping in a room, to absolutely meteoric historic fame. Like that's super inspiring as someone who plans to, to walk the same career path. That is, wow, like, wow. <laughs> I'm on fire right now like that is so inspiring whatever your goal is even if you're not like me and want to be in the music industry someday to to see the work that they put in 12 to 16 hour days I think they said like that's oh like grueling out that's twice as long as your school or work day depending on what you're currently doing with your life and that's every day for it to pay off so big like i'm proud i like i'm not even like a member of the army like y'all i'm i know none of them i i can barely get the names right on the members and i'm proud like i i want the best for those dudes man like that's that's great. And to see all the stuff they went through, obviously I wasn't there for any of it, so I don't know what happened with the plagiarism thing, or but that's dope. And I'm proud of them. And I'm happy that they didn't break up because some of you guys told me that they almost broke up, I think last year or something. Um, that would have sucked because I would have been finding out about them and they would have been retired already, basically. But they're not, so. Here we go, down the rabbit hole. Um, yeah, I, I'm i not gonna say much more, just, wow, that was emotional. Like, I, yeah, wow. These, I, yeah, what, yeah, mm. I usually crack a lot more jokes in my videos uh, if this is your first time watching me. So, um, go, go watch something where I'm not almost about to cry. And, and that'll be more upbeat, I guess. But like, that is so inspiring. And um, yeah, thank you for, for being here on the channel. Thank you for recommending that video to me. I'm probably gonna go watch it again without the camera on me. Um, yeah, wow. Um, outro, outro. Uh, like, comment, do you you know the stuff. Subscribe, all all that, and uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Peace. <laughs>